why do you need special food to keep your vagina healthy? So many naturalists talk about boosting the health of your vagina with the food that you eat. So is this a trend that all of us should hop on or something that we can just throw in the bin? How can the food you eat have any effect on your vagina? This video will explore what keeps your vagina healthy <laughs> and where food comes into it. So please stay watching right to the very end where I will share with you the top 10 superfoods that can help you maintain good vaginal health. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator with Ask Away Health. On this channel, we love to share health information to help you feel and be better. So if you've been searching through all of YouTube, just looking for where to find this kind of information, you've come to the right place. Stop, no need to go any further, stay here. Please give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And when you've done that, you can find us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok as at Askaway Health. And friends, my channel membership is now open. So if you love this channel and want to show your support for the work that we're doing, promoting health education, please come and become a member. You also get perks. For example, you'll be able to recommend a video, a video title or topic that you want me to work on and publish sometime in future. So I'm looking forward to seeing you join me on Ask Away Health as a member of our community. So let's talk about today's video. Having a healthy vagina is crucial for any woman for many reasons. Amongst them, a general sense of well-being, it makes for a healthy sex life, comfort during your periods, safe pregnancy and a healthy baby, freedom from troublesome symptoms during menopause and so on. Of course, you will know when things are not exactly right down there. For example, it might be smelly, itchy, there may be an abnormal vaginal discharge that's also itchy and smelly, or there might be a rash and so on. But what are the things that could affect your vagina's health? Let's look at a few of them. Hormone changes, for example, the type that occurs during menopause. Next, infections, for example, sexually and non-sexually transmitted infections. So, for example, chlamydia and gonorrhea or thrush as a non-sexually transmitted infection. Chemicals that you might find in creams, soaps, deodorants and perfumes, feminine washes and douches and so on. Drugs like the combined contraceptive pill or birth control pill, which can affect your vagina's lubrication. Also, hygiene, like failure to wash yourself regularly and properly. Underlying health conditions like diabetes mellitus, the body has several natural mechanisms in place to maintain good vaginal health. Here are some of the ways the body works to keep the vagina healthy. First of all, it's self-cleaning. The vagina has a self-cleaning mechanism that allows it to keep its pH balanced. That is how acidic or how alkaline the vagina is. The vaginal walls contain glands that make a fluid known as the cervical mucus, which helps to flush out dead cells, bacteria, and other debris material from the vagina. This self-cleaning process helps to keep the vagina healthy and free from infections. The next natural way that the body helps to keep the vagina healthy is by its pH balance. I've just mentioned that. The vagina has an acidic pH and this creates an environment that discourages harmful germ like bacteria, parasites and so on from growing. This acidic pH is maintained by a balance of naturally occurring bacteria, particularly known as lactobacillus. They produce lactic acid, which helps to keep the vagina pH low and prevent the growth of germs. Related to this one is the presence of good or beneficial bacteria within the vagina. The vagina is home to several different types of good germs. We've just mentioned one of them, the lactobacillus species. Apart from producing lactic acid, but they're able to maintain a balance by being present in the vagina that prevents overgrowth of harmful bacteria or yeast in the vagina. Next, mucus production. The cervix produces mucus that is crucial to vaginal health and fertility. Remember that the consistency and amount of the cervical mucus change throughout the menstrual cycle. This provides lubrication and creates a hospitable environment for sperm to travel in during ovulation. Next, there is the immune system. The body's immune system is vital in maintaining vaginal health. It helps to fight off infections and keep the vaginal area protected 
protected from harmful germs. When the immune system is strong and functioning well, it can help to prevent and control infections from the vagina. The other important thing is hormone regulation. Your hormones like estrogen play a very important role in maintaining the health of the vagina, its tissues and the fluids produced. Estrogen helps keep the vaginal tissues healthy, thick and moist. It promotes the growth of the good bacteria, so it helps to maintain the vagina's acidic pH balance and supports the production of the cervical mucus. So my question to you then is, if the vagina already has all these natural resources to help keep it healthy, why do we need any extra help from food? Well, a few reasons have to do with our daily interactions and habits over time. For example, our age. As we grow older, our hormone levels change and this affects the vaginal tissue and lubrication. Next, drugs. We may take different medicines or drugs for one reason or the other and they may affect the vagina's health. They might affect the pH balance or the tissues of the vagina. And third, there is pregnancy. The process of getting pregnant and childbirth can lead to changes in the tissue of the vagina or fluctuations in the hormone levels which can affect the vagina's health. There is also sexual activity. Sexual activity means interacting with your partner's skin, tissues, fluid and any germs that they may carry which could also lead to changes in your vagina and its health. We may fall ill or develop different conditions that can affect our immune system. This could make it less able to function and so unable to protect the vagina as it should. So it means that throughout your life, despite these natural resources that your vagina has, they may not be enough and so your body needs some extra support, some extra help needed to keep the vagina healthy. And this is where food comes into it. But just before I tell you which foods are the 10 superfoods that can keep your vagina healthy, I want to remind you there are no magic foods that can guarantee vaginal health. But a well-balanced diet will support the health of your reproductive system. So let's start with the 10 superfoods that are most likely to have a beneficial effect on your vagina and why. The first is Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt contains probiotics which are beneficial bacteria that can help maintain a healthy vaginal pH balance and prevent the overgrowth of harmful bacteria that can lead to infections. Number two, cranberries. Cranberries and cranberry juice contain chemicals which may help prevent urinary tract infections by preventing the germs from sticking to the walls of the urinary tract. Number three, garlic. Garlic has antimicrobial properties that may help fight off yeast infections. It also contains chemicals which can boost the immune system and support overall health. And fourth, green leafy vegetables. Vegetables like spinach, kale and broccoli are rich in vitamins A and C which support the immune system and help maintain healthy vaginal tissue. Fifth, we have flax seeds. Flax seeds are a good source of omega-3 fatty acids with anti-inflammatory properties that may help to reduce vaginal dryness and inflammation. And next we have avocado. Avocado is rich in healthy fats like monounsaturated fats which can support balanced hormones and help to maintain the moisture of the vagina. Next, sweet potatoes, one of my favorite foods. Sweet potatoes are high in beta carotene, which the body converts into vitamin A. Vitamin A helps regulate the production of epithelial cells or skin cells, including those in the vaginal lining, promoting healthy tissue growth. Next, whole grains. Whole grains like oats and quinoa are high in fiber, which can help to regulate estrogen levels. Balanced estrogen levels are important for vaginal lubrication and for maintaining healthy vaginal tissue. And ninth, we have berries. Berries such as blueberries and strawberries are rich in antioxidants, which can help fight inflammation and oxidative stress, potentially benefiting the vagina's health. And last but definitely not the least, we have water. Staying hydrated is crucial for overall health, including vaginal health. Drinking adequate water helps maintain proper hydration 
support circulation and aids in flushing out toxins from the body. So please remember a balanced diet is just one aspect of a healthy vagina. Practicing good hygiene, wearing breathable underwear, avoiding douching and being careful with your sexual practices as well as seeking help if you notice a problem with your vagina are also essential. Talking about vaginal health, you might want to learn more about vaginal discharge. So please check out this video here where I describe the different types of vaginal discharge. Remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.